Hey guys, Kim here with Like Tesla. Well, you guys asked for it, so we're gonna show you what can fit inside the Model 3. We did some fun videos like this with our X, and I can't wait to do it with the 3. All right, so let's start with the trunk. We're gonna open it up. And it's actually really deep inside of here, and there's kind of this little hidden compartment that I love down here because there's no gas tank. So we have all this extra storage. This is our Tesla carry-on and it's fully extended right now, but you can see it fits perfectly in there. And then guess what? We still have extra space. Some of our big suitcases in there. There's one. There is two and look at plenty of space here. I mean, maybe not quite a foot, but I would say maybe about 10 inches. Easily put them back here. You could probably fit two duffel bags here and one on either side. So four additional duffel bags in the, just the trunk space. And that's not including the front. For this to go above the suitcases, you can see it hits there. Um, if I scoot this over, I don't even think there's enough room. Maybe if it was smaller, you might be able to fit something in there. It almost fits without the wheel, so if you had a slightly smaller one, you might be able to fit one in there. But it's a nice, deep trunk, so. You wanna try the front trunk and see if that's, that's yeah, the appropriate size? Yeah, let's see if this would fit in the front trunk. So here is the front trunk, and it's not quite as deep as our Model X or the S, but it fits the carry-on perfectly in here. So there you go. And then let's see if it passes the final test. And there you go. It closes, it fits. So I have two carry-ons, two full-size suitcases, and you could fit about four duffel bags in the back. That's pretty good for a family traveling. Our favorite uses for the front is groceries or stinky takeout because you don't smell it in the cabin. But I kind of wanted to give you an idea of grocery bags that you could possibly fit in here. So. I put paper towels here just to kind of give you an idea, but you can kind of see, I don't think upright, they will fit that well if they're packed all the way to the top. Halfway full, they would fit, but you could easily turn a couple grocery bags on its side. You know, you might need to take one of these out. So that's five paper towel rolls. And there you go. The second row seat of the Model 3, and we have two car seats back there for our boys. You know, just hanging out in the car seat. Um, let's see if the armrest goes down though. Look at that. This is what I really like about the Model 3 with the car seats, is that there's extra cup holders back here for your kids, and they can actually reach them and grab them. Um, I think that's awesome. You could put a cup in here with crayons if you're going on a road trip and they could be drawing, hopefully not drawing on the car, um, or just like water bottles for them. So that is awesome. But I do not think that there is enough room for a person, let alone a car seat to fit here, unless maybe your waist is like seven inches across. I can kind of fit in here sideways, you know, but that's, I don't think I could get a seatbelt on. I definitely would not plan on having someone sit between two car seats. That said though, if one of your kids, if you had two kids and one of them was still rear facing, I do think there's enough room for a rear facing car seat here. It might be kind of tight and hard to thread the needle, but um, it would fit. The next test, a lot of people have asked us about strollers. So this is a full size jogging stroller. It's pretty much as big as it goes for double strollers. I don't think it will go wheels first. Let's flip it around and try it the other way. Let's try it this way. It's gonna get caught right here again. So we're gonna have to take out these wheels. I'm getting my workout today, guys. Oh, you know what? It's not gonna close without this coming off too. So you could take this one off. I'm not gonna do it right now, but easily you could take this one off too and you could fit a double stroller in there with a little work. This is kind of our like go-to stroller for traveling. And I think most of these smaller double strollers are probably the way to go. Unless you want to go for a run. 
So this fits in here. There's plenty of room back there for extra bags, groceries, whatever you would need. As you saw before, the other double stroller fit, but we had to take the wheels off. Now, it might be something where it's worth waiting for the Model Y. If you have a family and you're really active and you need that extra space, I think in a hatchback, like on the Model Y, it might fit a little bit easier. It might be a better option, have a little more utility for you guys. You know what? I think I would fit in the trunk, no problem. Oh, it's deep back there. And there's a window. Look at that. It's a little a little window right there. <laughs> and I think that's where the emergency pull is if you were to get locked in the trunk. So, you know, if you're curious if you could fit a body in the trunk, I don't know why you'd want to know that. And now for the grand finale. Will I fit in the Model 3 frunk? <laughs> Highly unlikely. Highly would... unlikely, but you know what? I think I can sit in here. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I could do some yoga. <laughs> Let us know what you guys want to see inside the Model 3. Thanks for watching.